Okay, so this is the stopper knot. Uh, we use it to tie at the end of our ropes so that we don't um, repel off the end of our ropes, uh, hence the stopper knot. Okay, so I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so there's two ways. Um, there's a couple ways to do it, actually, or a few ways. Um, I'll show you the first one. I have started the same way as anything else, my little P shape. Um, but now I'm going to make another little wrap just around the back of that initial um, shape I've made and take my tail through the back. Okay, I pull that nice and tight. I've got my nicely dressed stopper knot. Okay, um, I'll show you the incorrect way of tying this one as well, um, which sometimes seems uh, seems the same. So if I if I make my initial P shape and then I don't cross it around the back, but instead I put it on top and put it through this way, you'll notice that. Now my lines don't necessarily cross each other, except for this bend here. Okay, so if you end up with a stopper knot like this, you can actually just take this top strand and bump it over so you've got that crisscross here. Okay, there's your stopper knot. I'll show you an easier way, perhaps, to tie it, which would be, again, starting with your P-shape. You're just going to take that end through the back uh, twice. Okay, and when you snap it, push it together. There's your stopper knot.